Hello friends, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox and today I'm presenting for the Funky Junkie. Our challenge was to finish an old project. You may know I have a background box and these cards are the result of my playing with embossing folders and ink. So again, I'll just kind of give you a, a quick preview here of all the cards I made. There are 10 total and I actually had a couple of backgrounds left over that I didn't use. So again, I had so much fun making, making all of these fun, fun cards and using my backgrounds. So again, I'll show you some of the embossing folders. There's Arched and Acorns and Numbered, uh, Typewriter, Swirl, <laughs> Fo Foliage. There's the Gears. Um, let's see what else we have. There's another Swirled one. There's Doily and there's Kaleidoscope. So again, these are kind of the backgrounds that I chose to use. So what I did is I ran them through my, um, my Sizzix. Uh, big shot using watercolor paper again because I knew I was going to spritz them all. So I'm just going to kind of throw them all out here for you to see. These are all the different backgrounds that that I ended up making. So I have quite a stash of Tim Holtz stuff. I will readily admit to it. So I kind of um, set, set it in my kind of capture box and I pulled out just a huge number of the uh, distress stains. So again, I ended up spritzing them on there, adding some water um, and then heat drying them. So again, I worked on a whole bunch of them. This is the foliage with the, um, you know, with the green color here. So obviously, you know, for the leaves. So just add Adding a little more of the Rustic Wilderness color in there. And again, I use so many colors, I really cannot list them all out. Um, but again, you know, choose your own colors, you know, use watercolor background or paper background and just go for it. It was just, just a whole lot of fun. I did multiples of this. So then I used kind of, this is for the acorn one. So again, I kind of used that, um, mossy green and, um, uh, rustic camp, no, not rustic, crackling campfire. And then probably vintage photo or one of those, but again, just kind of for a selection of different different splotches of color. So now I'm going to let you see here what I've got. So I've got all of these backgrounds that I created. Very colorful. I love color. Terry's, Terry's a color person. So again, then I thought, you know, I could probably make them really, uh, the texture really show up if I just used a brayer and added some archival ink. So again, I'm using ground espresso, and then I also used black soot. So on the on the warm colored ones, I went ahead and used the ground espresso. And you can see here, I'm just running the brayer over the ink pad and run it over the top. So I did that with all of them. So I'll kind of show you, look at the difference it makes when and you, um, you know, when you just add that little pop of um, highlight or, you know, the darkening parts over the top of these gorgeous embossed folders. So again, here I'm kind of giving you an idea. On the arched one, I was going to put the gentleman. I've got skeleton leaves for the foliage. This is the perspective butterfly, one of my favorite old time dyes. And again, here is a, um, a floral um, floral lineup. Here's more flowers again done in gray for that swirled background. Used my wild wildflowers there and I cut that out of glossy cardstock. Here is metallic cardstock. Here's kind of a tree that you know again I'm going to kind of create this forest scene. And again, a lot of these dyes and things are older. Like I say, I've been collecting Tim Holtz for years. Um, you know, I just, I really, really love his products and I stash them and buy them and get them, you know, from Funky Junkie whenever, uh, whenever I can. So again, just there's a couple of the sentiments that I'm going to use. So again, here's that birthday card. So I ended up adding an action wobbler and then I selected a couple of sentiments from the small talk series that related, it was the occasions one. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of layers of cardstock beneath it. 
and then I'll go ahead and pull out the glass, glossy accents. You know, again, I wanted, I love to make my sentiment shine. So I, I do this quite a bit with glossy accents or other shiny, uh, shiny mediums. So again, I'm just going to make sure that I get the whole thing kind of covered and then, um, be careful when you set it aside so that it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't get stuck. So you should see a, re a red arrow at the lower right-hand section of your screen. I'd love to count you as a subby friend. So please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I add new, uh, new videos. So here is that birch dice, that birch tree dice set. So again, you can see I've trimmed half the trees off. And then I went ahead and added thin foam strips underneath it to kind of pop it up. Now the die is a little bit shorter than my background. So again, I'm going to work with it here and just make my card a little bit shorter. No, no problem. And so you see there, I've got the three darling deer there. So again, you can kind of see how I've got one kind of hidden and coming out of the woods. And then we'll add the other one just right there. So just too much fun putting these all together. So I've got a nice assortment of cards here, you know, to add to my stash. So here's the gear one again, that was that gear background. And then I use the, um, you know, the gears die to cut out of metallic paper. Here is that cityscape one. This is the cityscape die. I've had this obviously for quite a while. So I did two sections uh, directly on the card and then popped up the, um, the front city. And here I am just again adding that foam tape. I used uh, pondering words to um, cut remember moments um, out. And so again, it just kind of pops it up there on the front of the card. And I've done that in black cardstock. So again, just just having fun with this stuff. Here's that perspective butterfly. So again, I cut him out of um, brown cardstock. And so I'm just going to make sure that I've got a good angle here um, to add him against the, the corner. And I found that, you know, because the backgrounds are so textured, that collage medium, because it kind of dips down into the divots, really was the best option. Uh, for gluing some of these pieces on, especially like this one has so many places that I needed to add a little dab of glue. So I just found this one, um, this one worked very, very well. So again, I'll pick it up there with my, my tweezers, get it lined up. And that's the kaleidoscope background. I thought that was pretty cool. Now here's my skeleton leaves that I'm going to put on that foliage one. And again, I'm going for the uh, collage medium. Going to add that all around. So just kind of gluing the, gluing the outside there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread two of them out. And then the third one's going to go right there, smack dab in the middle of my little trio of leaves. I thought this was kind of kind of fun. Again, I gone through my stash and just pulled um, accompanying dies that I thought would be really cool with the embossing folders. So again, look at your stash, see what you've got. Um, you know, you may have something that's just is perfect for an idea that you have. So now I've just got a piece of twine here, and I'm going to go ahead and tie a bow. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the um, collage medium. And the reason I flipped it around was so that my little tails would be towards the bottom and not, not flying off the top of the card. <laughs> so again, I'm going to add a, add a dab of collage medium to kind of corral that bow. And then I'll set that aside to dry. And you can see here, this is the final one. And you can see that I've added a bunch of sentiments. Some of these came from the note quotes. Some of them came from the noteworthy. Um, you know, I showed you some of the other, um, other ones. That's the uh, label. And again, there's one that I cut out to another one. So again, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox. Again, I'm presenting for Funky Junkie. I'm on Instagram, Facebook blogger, and YouTube. I would love to have you join me and be a subscriber. Have a great day.